The absence of revised model standing orders has been a gap in local government administration since Parliament passed Act 936 in 2016, which requires a review of the old model standing orders based on the repealed Act 462 in line with the requirements of the current legislation. The continuous application of an old model standing order by MMDAs has created a number of challenges in their activities. The Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, Hajia Alima Mahama, launching the revised model standing orders for the MMDAs in Accra today, said the new provision will address the unending challenges confronting the election of presiding members. So we are stated in this new orders that where at the, when at the inaugural meeting they failed to get a presiding member, there could be a second election and a third. So after two such elections, since two, such, two such voting patterns, that's the inaugural plus the two, so in all three, we are saying that both persons should step down and allow new set of people to put up their candidature for election as a presiding member. So that it doesn't go on forever and ever and ever. So that's the key, uh, key provision that we have provided for this law. The revised standards orders also prevent the presiding members from refusing to call meetings, especially when it's necessary for the official operations of the business of the assembly. The requirement for an ad hoc committee to vet the president's nominee for the position of a chief executive has also been expunged from the standing orders. The orders now give powers to the presiding member to exercise discretion at meetings by allowing him or her to introduce items of business which does not appear on the agenda. Chairing the occasion, Professor Samuel Wood also appealed to government to consider translating the standing orders into local languages for effective civic education. I would suggest seriously that you haven't had this system since 19, 1992, 1998, whatever. It's about time. It's about time that we translate the model standing orders wherever possible into our local languages. I think that will also allow those who do not speak English language to be able to take part uh, 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 in the assembly celebrations.